Hi, family. <laughs> I thought I'd come back on and, and encourage you guys and, and just uh, show you some things from our family and, and Christ and um, a few things from a few weeks ago, too, that the Lord had showed me and um, that applies to now, of course. And, um, Boy, it's really looking like this is it, isn't it, family? I'm so ready. I hate this world. <laughs> I just hate, you know, the attacks that just are relentless, right? And, um, you know, I don't want to suffer. I don't wish the suffering of others. But... You know, everybody makes a choice, don't they? Everybody has a choice to make. and Everybody at some point has heard the gospel or knows about Jesus Christ. But they're going to get another chance if they don't go with us. So all isn't lost. God's, God's mercies, they endure forever. So don't fret, don't worry about loved ones. If they, if the worst case scenario, the Lord's got them. The Lord's got them. It's the family like, uh, I want to show you this. Uh, this came in and you know how the Lord speaks through emails, right? At the top it says, Last Day's Awakening, Prepare the Way of the Lord for a September Rapture, right? And underneath it, it says, Prep for Wedded Bliss. And then when I clicked on Last Day's Awakening, um, which was the second thing I did after screenshotting this and looking it up, in his description, he's got the words, time to prep. And that says, prep for wedded, wedded bliss. Prep for wedded bliss with a little engagement ring on it, family. So I believe that was confirmation from our Lord uh, that he, he is definitely still coming and to prepare for the wedding. And the 601 I've had before for Apocalypto. Revelation is about to begin. You know, Revelation 4, when we're caught up, is about to happen. And um, I thought that was just beautiful. Wedded bliss. Right, family? So I wanted to share that with you. And um, this was the scripture. Uh, that came with the 606 when I when I seen it when I seen it um, I forgot to write that on there but that's okay henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and you and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. So this is our Lord. This is a message from our Lord family. He said, don't give up. Don't stop looking. Just hold on a little bit longer. There is a crown for all of those who are watching and loving his appearing. Okay, family? So, be encouraged with that. And I wanted to show you this again from the time clock. The seven-year time clock. Doomsday clock, they call it. You know, um, the, the sister that I've been sharing, I believe her name's Sarah, if I'm not mistaken. I'm so bad about My memory is like at, at nothing, you know. I didn't used to be this way. I used to be able to recall 
so much information and it's just went to squat and we know why all the things they do to us but um anyway she was saying of course um the enemy's camp knows you know what's going on they do so it's not no coincidence this clock it's their clock they know exactly what time it is and they're ready for the see they're looking for their king too which is antichrist and satan himself they're they're looking for their god to come into power the same as we're looking for the true god to come and get us and begin this next part of humanity um to bring in the millennial reign right gotta go through the seven to get to heaven <laughs> so um yeah i just wanted to share that they definitely know family so we are we are there we are we are in that time and I wanted to reshare this with you guys. In 927, it turned on the clock when I was watching it for Nat Daniel 927. And she, uh, Sister Andrea, had dreamt of the gathering of the first fruits. And we've been talking about the harvest. So we know we're a harvest family. And um, she also seen the war. And she also seen in the rapture she was carrying a dog. So I wanted to reshare this for anyone who's new that has come on board. You're very welcome here. Uh, family, the animals are going with us. Uh, more animals went on the ark than humans went on the ark. Many of us, a remnant of believers, have been praying every animal go in the rapture and the Lord gives us the desires of our heart and there's a verse in Romans that actually talks about the animals the creatures being with us so Bible scripture actually confirms that and you know we've got white horses in heaven that are waiting on us and those horses we're gonna ride from heaven to earth so those horses can survive both in heaven and on earth so that tells you a lot right heaven's a lot like earth but you know without the dying decay curse of the earth and all that so don't worry family your animals are going the animals are going don't you worry and I wanted to remind you of this scripture that the Lord's been giving me and not just me but others too about our harvest whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into his garner but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable from luke 3 17. he's about to gather us the threshing floor gathering um you know there's just too many of us it's it's been given uh, harvest confirmations, right? And uh, I was going to share this again from Jim Mar Jen Martin. She said she had a dream with the pastor preaching and the rapture happened after. The pastor will actually be there this 28th of August. I had the dream uh, the 22nd of August, 2019. So on the 28th, this pastor came to preach. And the Lord showed her this pastor preaching there in 2019. And this past, just the other day, 28th of August, the, the pastor in question came to preach at her church. And then the rapture happened after. So the Lord is showing everybody in different ways how close we are. And about that moon I was telling you about, for September, I guess it's on the 10th. Um, Greg said September 10th, harvest moon. 
Reap what you have sown as the harvest moon rises on Saturday, September 10 at 5.59 a.m. Eastern. This is also called corn moon, fruit moon, barley moon, and hungry ghost moon. And, you know, barley harvest first fruits with Jesus, right? Um... There's still a count, you know, for the third that we could be could be watching for as the last possible Pentecost count. Um, but you know, it doesn't matter if we don't go then. We've got to be going soon, family, and the birthday connection could be 9/11. Others, uh, I've seen where one other person believes Jesus' birthday. I think it was Candy and Eyes Open. I think she's thinking it's the 23rd. But if this, you know, this um, global treaty is being done on the 26th, I would think we would have to go a little bit sooner than that. I don't know. I know most scholars believe his birthday, Jesus' birthday is on 9 11. That we would, you know, make a great birthday present. <laughs> um, you know, at first I thought it should be a standalone day for Jesus, but who am I to say he doesn't want a birthday present, right? <laughs> so, I take that back. <laughs> and, um, family, this I, I was just so excited when I seen this. I had to... Uh, caption this and, and come and, and share this with you uh, because you know when when two when it's given to two people then it's uh, confirmed right and this is sister Carrie Christ follower today she shared that this, the words in her spirit um, were say goodbye to this world it says 9122. So she's blowing the trumpet, family. Say goodbye to this world. And so this is two people, she and I, because remember on August 2nd, I was given bid farewell. It says proof, confirmation, the key to survival, which is to wipe clean with the blood of Jesus. Then number four, please share. At this moment, to join oneself in marriage, bidding farewell, was the message, because um, it came, it had came in twice, and then it had came in also with um, follower of the way, worship Jesus channel, saying urgent time is almost up, and then when I come back um, the following day, and I was re uh, freshing on this, looking at it again, exactly at the moment I was reading urgent time is almost up this big loud um, horn went off outside and interesting interest law I can't really talk interestingly enough when I was recording Sarah's message today about the the treaty being signed the global treaty to to upload um, when she was talking about that, a big emergency siren went off then and I was silently thinking I was like I don't think that's coincidence something's something's up I'm telling you it seems like a siren always goes by or a horn right at the perfect time right so family the Lord was telling us you know the beginning of August to to bid farewell to, to this world that we are about to be joined in marriage and then sister Carrie received the same message today so it's confirmed family it's time to go and uh, I got to prepare for the the uh, wedding today and it was confirmed by the other channel 
with the same wording that came in right above it. I just showed you. He's, he's coming. Family, Jesus is truly coming. And I, I shot this, I guess, October 31st is when winter starts. Now, we're looking, family, at a two season. Biblical seasons are summer and winter. So, we're not even looking at fall. We're still in the summer until, I guess, October 31st. If that's correct. I'm not 100% if that's correct or not. I haven't researched it. But I'm going to take Crystal's word for it. <laughs> and, um, so, yeah. We're still, we're still in summer. We are not in the fall. And earlier today, when I was listening to Sarah from Minister 8, The Final Moments of the Final Countdown, family, I was uh, getting my baby's lunch ready, their chicken num-nums. So I had the phone sitting on the countertop. I wasn't looking at it. I was just listening to it. And after I sat out all their food for them, um, finished what I was doing, picked up my phone. It was exactly 123 on the clock, which is 321 from right to left. So the Lord was showing me 321. You know, and I, I told you I'd asked to see it, and I've seen it in her stream of videos. And then, you know, I picked up my phone, and bam, it was right there. And, and she was who I was listening to, and I captured that. So, family, that's to me seems like a confirmation, and and here it is again: the global treaty from September 13th and 26th. Bride of Christ has to be removed before. Family, after I made the video, um, when I first introduced her channel, um, not today, but yesterday, I should have done it before I made the video. But I, it, something told me, to, well, probably Holy Spirit, right, told me to go and look up the number for her subscribers at the time, which was 496, okay? And family, God has testified is the definition for the 496. God has testified. And I... I want to go on record and, and say this. You know, the Lord doesn't use the fake TV people who use the name of Jesus to gain prestige, power, and money. The fake, the fake church, right? He's not going to use those kind of people. There's a lot. I mean, there are slews of false prophets out there. You could throw a rock and hit a false prophet. Just aim it anywhere and you, it would land on a false prophet, right? The Lord uses those fools to confound the wise. And it's for His glory because everyone knows only God. Only God gets the glory, right? So, keep that in mind. And if a YouTube channel's got 50,000 subscribers or above, then you might want to pray on that. Because the enemy's channels are the ones that usually grow like that. Family, I've been praying for, for discernment every day since I became born again. And I have subscribed to people. And then un unsubscribe to people <laughs> uh, quite, a, quite a lot. And I tell you, you know, recently I went through and cleaned house. I, I deleted probably 100, 100 subscriptions. And there's something else I'm going to share with you concerning things just like this. You know, as believers, we are targeted. That they, they, we are 
targeted by predators that will pull on our heartstrings for money who use the name of Jesus stand in pulpits and preach his word but they're wolves in, in sheep's clothing all they have to do is go and copy somebody else's sermon and present themselves as the real deal it's not it's not hard most Christians are gullible um, and pride a lot of times gets in the way because they think they can't be deceived so I'm just saying this to warn you guys not to fall in those traps just always pray for with God's wisdom God's knowledge God's discernment God's truth okay family now I seen this late night in a late last night in a chat from Huang Huang that said uh, I think as she had a dream that she was raptured at a hotel it was so real she thought she thought it really happened and you know a hotel is a representation of this earth because it's not our home right so and uh, she also had another one that is very encouraging she said I had many dreams lately God told me there is no time left no time left family and then she woke up so thank you Jesus Renee Alvarez I had a rapture dream in the beginning of August at the stop sign up the road from my house I live in now and it was in the car I have now I'm not saying the rapture is soon anymore I'm saying it's now hallelujah thank you Jesus amen family it's not we fly soon anymore it's we fly now all glory to Jesus Mercy 79 when I have prayed and asked for dreams that show the season of the rapture he has given me dreams of blackberries watermelons and newly bottled wine and I do believe we're still in the feast of wine family right um, so yeah let's see what comes after oil yeah we're still in the feast of wine now when I have prayed, okay, sorry, watermelons and newly bottled wine. Blackberries are ripe here in June, July. Watermelon and wine harvest festivals take place in August and September where I am in Arkansas. So it seems to point to summer going into fall. And, you know, as, as people in the West were used to four, four seasons, so let's, um, excuse me. I've been really having some problems lately. So anyway, um, yeah, summer and winter. So we're still in summer until November 1st, I guess. August 31st. Which is the day before November 1st. So, yeah. Um, I can understand why some would think it's fall but it's actually summer if we're looking at the biblical seasons and family I uh, have to share this from our sister Allison Jesus is Lord and you guys need to go and subscribe to her channel I should have shared it long before now um, but I get you know forgetful <laughs> and um, I don't have the link so screenshot it and go look it up I didn't get the link before I started making this video but it's really easy Allison with one L Jesus is Lord okay and Allison had a dream okay I had to stop and pause the video she was watching my video and I know it was when I was talking about my rapture dream and the corn for the harvest she said about a year ago, I had a dream that there was a popcorn machine in the middle of the room on my lanya lan lan in my backyard. 
My husband kept moving the popcorn machine out of the way closer to the house. I heard the verse. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. Second Thessalonians 2, 7. We are his popcorn going to pop up to heaven, taken out of the way to be with the Father. I think my husband represented Jesus, the groom. So family herd popcorn is another corn harvest confirmation or barley because I believe we're barley and tribulation saints are wheat. But, you know, it's not an argumentative thing. Um, some people think we're wheat. I am not arguing about that. I, mean, I just believe that the tribulation saints are the wheat. And then the grapes, um, well, they're going to be squashed like little bugs, crushed. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, this is more confirmation of our harvest coming family. Um, thank you so much, Allison. And you guys go sub to her channel. Um, and Sister Mustard Seed Sis, um, I've been thinking about you, and um, I'm going to talk to you soon. i uh, praying for all of you, by the way, and I hope every one of you is doing good. If you need specific prayer, you can always leave it in the comments, right? Um, and I looked this up again to show you guys 2022 means to pour upon in Strong's. And, you know, the judgments are about to be poured out. So to me, that's just more confirmation. And, you know, I, I've been getting 222 since September of last year for 2022. But it also means flame of God. And, uh... You know, that's, people are really about to find out, aren't they, who God is. And uh, I thought I'd reshare that. And I've seen this t today from a channel ca called Heart Dwellers Gehanna. Now, this was from two weeks ago, but it doesn't matter. This sister had a dream about the harvest as well. And corn was in the in the dream. Um, another corn confirmation of our timeline of our harvest, right, family? And we also know that the world is in a wheat crisis, which is part of our time marker. And uh, it was a very beautiful dream. So I thought I would share that. And. This came in my notifications today as well, and it, it came in at 2.22 exactly, which y'all know, 3.21, two of my big confirmation numbers, because the 2.22 began with rainbows, the promises of God, and uh, so I just, I screenshotted that, and it, and it said summer cookout, and it just reminded me, you know, that we're going to go to the wedding feast of the Lamb. I know that's a little further down the road, but we are headed there, right? And the 25 with the little kissy face there. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Means to love. So I thought I would share that with you. And um, this is the last one, family. So, we, we've gotten more confirmation today. The king is coming with a little engagement ring to prep for the wedding. And, um, Sister Carrie, say goodbye, family. Bid farewell to the world. We're really here. We're at the finish line. So, you guys, don't get down. Just hold on a little bit longer. Just a tiny bit longer. That's it. You can make it. You can make it another few few weeks, right? Um, and Paul says we would know the season. There is no need to write. We're not the children of darkness. We're the children of light. 
Um, and family, there's a channel called Overcomers Outreach. And I'm going to share a link for this one. I'm going to go and get it. And I'm um, try to get Allison's too. It might take me a minute. Because uh, I'll probably upload this and then come back with the links. But Overcomers Outreach. And it, it's called The Wolf. Um, I know we're getting ready to go. But this is something just so serious, family. It breaks my heart that these things are going on all over YouTube with so many ministries out here taking money and fleecing true believers in Jesus, putting on a show, putting on acts. But they're doing even worse than that. They're in the pulpits as well and, and making it a family business. Um, the, go the Grace Gospel from this particular wolf um, he had said that the grace gospel is, is very marketable very marketable to generate income so I don't uh, you know the, the Lord has given the sister confirmation to go forward with this um, there will be nothing done in the dark that won't be brought to light. And it's not okay. And we can't bury our heads in the sand when it comes to these matters. Because it's easier. You know, we've got to be there for those who's been hurt by these kind of ministries. And we have got to protect each other from getting robbed and fleeced by these filthy lucres. So the truth needs to go forth, so I'm going to share the link, and you all give it a listen, and pray about it, and listen with your Holy Spirit discernment, and you'll know that it's true. Okay, family? But look up, our King is coming. Jesus is coming. So... Be encouraged, family. I love you guys. God bless you so much. Y'all mean the world to me. I'm so grateful for my eternal family. You know, you guys give me hope and encouragement, too. Uh, you know, I feel just so blessed knowing that I've, I've got family now, you know. I used to have a big family, but they've all gone to heaven already. And uh, I can't wait to see them, too. But um, you guys have really, really blessed me. And I just want to tell you thank you. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you soon in the air, right? Talk soon. God bless you.